Okay, number three. Okay, we're going to add 7.1 times 10 to the sixth plus 5.2 times 10 to the sixth. Okay, now the, the, at the get-go, this is um, this is nice because the exponents on the tens are the same. Okay, so we don't have to do any work at the beginning. Okay, so what we're going to do is keep the 10 to the sixth the same and add 7.1 and 5.2. Okay, now on scrap paper, when you add those up, keep that decimal point lined up. So when you add 7.1 and 5.2, you're going to get to see 712.3. Again, if you are writing small, that means the exponent was kind of left over in the text box. Control period would get rid of it. Control period. Okay, so we said that was 12.3 times 10, okay, now control period for the exponent, 6. 12.3 times 10 to the 6. So we didn't have to do any work at the get-go. Okay, but we have to be careful on this problem because the, the final answer, 12.3, is not between 1 and 10. Okay, 12.3 is not between 1 and 10. So this really isn't quite right. So what we need to do Move this decimal point on 12.3, one to the left, and that will be 1.23, and that's good. Okay, so we move the decimal one to the left times 10. Okay, if we move that decimal point one to the left, we got to add one to the exponent. So we got to add one to six to be seven. Sometimes your control period won't work. You just got to try again because mine didn't work the first time. So I get 1.23 times 10 to the 7th. Okay, I added the decimals. I kept the 10 to the 6th the same. But then I had to change this answer into scientific notation. Okay, if I move the decimal point 1 to the left to get it in the right place, I got to add 1 to my power of 10 make that seven. Okay, a couple more. Number four, 1.92 times 10 to the fifth minus eight times 10 to the fourth. Okay, now we can't uh, keep going with this problem until we get the, the exponents to match up. We have 10 to the fifth and 10 to the fourth. So let's work on 10 to the fourth. Okay, let's make 10 to the fourth into 10 to the fifth. Okay, we're adding 1 to that exponent to make it match up with the bigger 10 to the 5th. If we add 1 to the power of 10, i got to move this decimal point on my 8, 1 to the left. So that becomes 0 0.8 times 10, control period, to the 5th. So now I have 1.92 times 10 to the 5th minus 0.8 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, I'm good to go. I'm going to subtract my regular numbers, my decimals, and I'm going to keep 10 to the fifth the same. Okay, when you subtract 0.8, imagine my point being right underneath the other point. So 0.8 would be right there. So 1.92 minus 0.8 would be 1.12. Whoops, control period. 1.12 times 10, a control period, fifth. Sorry. Fifth. Okay, I was looking at that wrong. So subtract 1.92 minus 0.8, I get 1.12, and then my 10 to the fifth stays the same. Okay, but at the very beginning, I had to get the exponents to match up. I had to add 1 to my 4 to get 5. I had to move the decimal point 1 to the left. Okay, last one together. And I'm going to have you try to do some on your own. Okay, add 9.5 times 10 to the 5th plus 8.2 times 10 to the 5th. Okay, the exponents are good. They're matched up. So I know it's going to be times 10 to the 5th. All I need to do is add 9.5 to 8.2. Okay, decimal points lined up. That would give me 17.7. Power of 
times 10 control period to get my exponent of 5. 17.7 .7 times 10 to the fifth. Okay. Um, not quite not quite done. 17.7 .7 is bigger than 10. Okay, this first number has to be between 1 and 10. So to make this first number in between 1 and 10, I'm going to move the decimal 1 to the left to make that 1.77. And then if I move that decimal point one to the left, I got to add one to my exponent of five to make it a six. So my final answer, 1.77 times 10 to the sixth. Okay, guys, practice these. Um, don't give up. Um, on the next slide, this is what I'm going to take for the most of the grade. Okay, you're adding or subtracting these, and you just want to drag the correct answer down. Okay, um, you just have to move the screen to be able to get to all the answers, but you're going to just put the answers in the right spot. Okay, um, the rest of the slideshow is just extras. You don't have to even mess with. Those are just for me. Okay, do the best you can. I want to help you. We had trouble with this early, earlier in the year. Don't give up on this, okay? Go back to that blue slide and work, work with that as you do the problems if you need to, okay? Keep me posted.